Good. Hello, everybody. I'm Ty Pennington. Uh, it's great to be here in Houston tonight. So, uh, did you guys ever hear the one about the drywaller who stayed up all night working? He uh, forgot to throw in the trowel. I said he forgot to throw in the trowel. Any plumbers in the house? Terrible problem. Oh, no. Not funny. Oh, look, my time is up. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you so much. You up, bro? Yeah. Good sleep? Oh my god, I just had the craziest dream. Were we there? Well, it gave me a great idea. So Ed, Paige, Michael, I just had an incredible idea. Okay, what if we did a build, but for the first time ever, there were no tears. Call Nobody cried. I like dog. it. Like it should yes. be about laughter and joy and smiles. I would love that. And here's the cool thing, the family we're about to surprise is the perfect family for this. So they're the Johnson family. It's Eric, Elaine, and their five beautiful daughters. Take a look at this and you'll see why we're here. Hi, I'm Eric. <laughs> And I'm Elaine's husband. I'm Elaine, and I'm Eric's wife. We've been married now for... We just celebrated 15 years in February. Yes. Yay! High five. 15 awesome, glorious years. <laughs> we have five daughters. We like to play fashion models. Y'all ready? We are all close in our family. We have fun no matter what. <laughs> We run a nonprofit called Optimum Lifestyle, a CDC, and we coach relationships. People need an example because in our community, there are so few two-parent households. Over 80% of the children born in this area are born to unwed mothers. If you have decent family relationships, that's what's gonna change the way the world works. So we make financial sacrifices and we just keep moving. Our parents motivate us to work hard because we look up to them. What they're doing is very important because they're there's a lot of broken homes, and we need to take the negative and bring in positive in the community. It's always better for a couple to have an experience together uh, than it is to just talk and lecture them. We introduce things like ballroom dancing. As well as groups, seminars. We love helping marriages. The first time we went to get counseling from the Johnsons was a little over a year ago. Coming to the marriage and not having the tools was a real burden and they really helped us with it. They're so committed to healthy marriages in our community, they would not turn anyone away. We are clients of Eric and Elaine, and, um, as well as friends, and they've basically been a glue, if you will, to reattach us to each other and remind us of our love for each other and what we've been given. Eric and Elaine are not charging us for their services, but they saved our marriage. You can't put a price on that. Your home and your house represents what you are. And this does not represent them at all. It doesn't represent the work that they do out of this house. We inherited this home and we thought of it as a great and awesome opportunity. But when we got here and reality began to set in with the extensive repairs of the house and when the market went south, those dreams shattered. We had a couple of rats come through the kitchen and the lady laid down on the bed and it went across her uh, chin. It is really hard to do this on our own right now, being that we're one income family. I am a pharmacy technician. We try to keep our overhead low to continue to do what we do in the community. However, as a father and a provider, it really tugs at you that, hey, I need to do something. My daughters and my wife deserve better than this. We're the parents. We can deal with a lot. But for all five of them to have to suffer through this, you know, makes me sad. It makes me sad a lot. How awesome is that family? Yeah, they have such great attitude. Okay, so, can we do this? Yes. Well, put it in there, people. Are you with me? We're with you. Yes. And let's do it! Woo! This week, we're surprising family at, well, not their home. So we're actually at an all-ages comedy show right now. That's right for you. We're like sort of sneaking in the back of a comedy club because the Johnson family love to laugh together. They really do enjoy comedy. Say the magic words you learned in church. Bingo. Oh, hey. 
You made it. Guys, Paul Rodriguez. We meet comedian Paul Rodriguez. The guy's hilarious, you know? The family's watching this comedy show. They have no idea we're about to surprise them. And this is going to be definitely one heck of a surprise. It is my privilege to bring on this stage right here, right now. This hilarious group has been uh, bringing down the house everywhere they go. This next act doesn't need an introduction. Please welcome whoever they are. <laughs> this cannot be happening. It's, it's like a dream. It's like, I can't even do it. Oh, uh, no. You guys didn't expect us, did you? <laughs> we couldn't have asked for anything greater than this moment right now. And we just thank you guys because, I mean, we have five reasons right here that this means the world to us. I, I don't know what to say. I, I can't talk. You know, it's a father, you know. Oh. <laughs> we said we're gonna have this no tears build and we go surprise the family and they're crying. So instantly we failed, but it's happy tears. So it's all right. It's gonna be an awesome week. So I'd like you to meet our builders, Lee Harris yeah. and Linda Stewart from H.H. Yeah. in Homes. Yeah. Y'all are it, man. This is, this is amazing. Yeah. You're going to get a great house, in spite of me, really. <laughs> we want to say thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay, so what do you say, Houston? You guys ready to build a house for these guys in a week? Come with me, let's take a bus ride, shall we? We weren't really expecting this at all. This is a magical moment. It's a life changer, a total life changer. Wow. So this is the house. This is the house. Looks like you're missing glass there. Uh, there's not a deadbolt on the door, though. Who uh, needs a deadbolt? Who needs a deadbolt? In the hood. Right, in the hood. Wow. That's a bungee cord. Uh, all right. There we all right, go. There there we go. go. Wow. When you see the Johnson family's house, you realize, OK, this is tough. Right now, they're stuck in a tough environment in a house that's falling apart and could possibly cave in any given day. They pay good money for dance floors in New York to do this. So is this the living room? This is a multi-purpose room. This is one of Elaine's offices. Wow. Uh, this is the music room. Uh, also the theater room. Yes. This library. Oh, hey, Michael, how's the music room? Oh, it's good, but I'm going to go over to the office right now. Gotcha. Hang on. OK, I'm in the office. Is this house leaning yeah. that way? This yes. So if we all leaning go over center. here, we'll bring it back. Yeah, yeah. everyone over here, go this in the OK, way. let's go this way. way. Come on, all right. here we go. All right. Sorry. Now we balance it out. See? Back to the it's theater. Like it's a fun house. It's like It feels like you're at a circus <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. How old is the house? Over yeah. 60 years old. Her grandparents, right. blood, sweat, and tears, bought it for uh, $3,200. Was it already in this shape? Yes. We're grown, you know, we can handle knowing how to make lemonade out of lemons, right. mm -hmm. you know, but it's kind of hard to explain that to your children. Here's what I think we gotta do. Why don't you guys sort of show me around? Okay. Girls, why don't you take the designer, show them your room, see Beautiful. if it sounds good? <laughs> We're pretty sure All right. we'll see you in a moment. Okay, yeah. 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 show us your room. So. Okay, so hey, whose room is this? Oh, uh, yours, and yours, and yours, and yours, and yours. Yeah. Hang on, there's only four beds and there's five of you. These two sleep down here, and when Zoe's hot, she comes down there with me. And Jessica sits up there. This tiny little area is a closet for five girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do wow. you manage? We don't. We don't. <laughs> so this is the original kitchen from the 1940s. From the 1940s. 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 Yeah. You know, I had to take the original faucet, faucet off and oh. everything, and I put those, install those in. I'm not sure I would brag about that. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Here's what I love about this family. They laugh. Whatever they're going through in life, they find a way to make it funny, whether it's a, a door that doesn't have a lock on it or a kitchen sink that doesn't drain or a floor that you've gone through. It's laughter. Why have you got the plastic plates? Is that important? Well, well because the, the cabinets are just not strong enough. You guys eat off paper plates so that you don't break your shelves from the weight of the plates. Right. right. And they're it's, slanting also. It's got the right. gangsta lean. Right. The lean. Right. <laughs> Well, the good news about this bathroom is you can do all your business without even moving. <laughs> no, you know, right? You can take care of the toilet, shower, brush your teeth, and get dressed all just without even getting up. Yes, no, 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 no shower hands. Oh, so you only take a bath? Uh-huh. This is the drain that goes into the yard. Yep, that's runoff water. Tell me, 
What's your dream for a new house? This may not show it, but I do have, have really uh, exquisite taste. I can tell you got taste. Okay, can, can you Yeah, speak? you're rocking this look. <laughs> Thank you, <Michael. laughs> But so like, uh, like a style, do you like modern? Do you like Mediterranean? Spanish. Spanish. I think, you know, we, we're, we're like, you know, the stucco kind of Okay. Thing. Um, I'm sensing something a little bit cleaner. Kind yeah. of modern, but still have that classic edge yeah. with a bit of a Spanish flair. Yeah, yeah. Nice. The outside is, uh, wow. Uh, the foundation is actually on the ground. Oh my God, dude, and these are the joists? The joists that don't go all the way to the other end? That's what's holding up your house right there. Eric and Elaine inspired so many other people that live in this neighborhood, but the house they're living in is the one thing that's holding them back. You realize that this thing could like... Any day. Any day. So this has got to be your biggest fear right here. That's it. From the ground up, it's eaten up by termites. There is no solid foundation. The roof is caving in because it's also rotted. It's leaning. You can fall through the floor because the boards are that rotted. Eventually, this house is going to cave in on somebody. This is the master bedroom. Wow. Now let's talk about the counseling that you guys do. We've been doing that since before we even got married. Some people can't pay for four hours. Right. Well, it might be the third hour that we begin to break some make ground progress. and make progress. So we don't stop just because, oh, uh, your money says that right. we gotta stop right here, you know. Mm -hmm. We keep going because the ultimate goal is the progress. There is something about Eric and Elaine that works. You know they're in love, you can see it, but there's also, it's the respect they have for each other. But they've also learned that they're stronger together than they are apart. That's really the lesson here. It's about building relationships. And for them, it's really about rebuilding a community. You guys ready to find out where you're going on vacation? Yeah! yeah. Elaine, Eric, obviously you guys are marriage counselors. I mean, you really do renew the love between people. Right. So we figured what better place to send you than the city that sort of invented love. So check this out. You guys are going on a Trafalgar vacation to Paris, France! As a family to experience Paris, France. Come on. You know, Paris was a dream, but it's like one of them 30 years from now, maybe one day. Man, I couldn't have provided that for them. Coming up next. For the first time ever, it's an all funny, no tears, all laugh episode. We've crushed a house, we've burned a house, but we've never roasted a house. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Paul Rodriguez. Man. I'm not saying this house is bad, but a homeless guy just walked by and offered us a new box. <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer is oh, here! Yeah. With the girls loving fashion, we could use a little bit of help. Supermodel Brooklyn Decker! And later. Okay, bruv, we're all done in our room. What do you think about working on? I'm going to be working on uh, Reagan and Evan's room. They uh, yeah. love their fashion, and we're going to interlink all the girls' rooms, me, Michael, and Paige. And fashion's all about clothing, right? Yeah, and I know so much about fashion, as you well, can Well, here, here's some clothing. It needs to be washed. That's their laundry. I don't even do laundry. Welcome to the world of fashion, Ed. In Paris, the Apple Tower is awesome. We went all the way to the top. To the top. <laughs> Making your crepe way more than you. We never went there in our life. 14 lions, did you count the lions? It was just like awesome going to Paris. Hello, Johnson family. Hi, guys. Guys, I hope you're having an amazing time in Paris. Look, we know how much this old house means to you, so we want to make sure we take it down in style. So we've rolled out the red carpet. We also know you love to smile, so what better way to do it than with a sense of humor? I know that's right. So that's right, people. We're roasting the house. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm getting ready for the roast, brother. A little marinade's being put together. The barbecue's already on. It's going to be a good one. It's a comedy roast. It means we're making fun of the house, not cooking it. <laughs> he ready to cook that. Wow. The family just wants to laugh and have fun. So for the first time ever, it's an all funny, no tears, all laugh episode. We're having like an old fashioned roast. The, the kind of thing they used to have in the 70s, right? Where you have fun making fun of someone. Except in this case, the someone is the house. We've done a lot of things. We've crushed a house, we've burned a house. 
but we've never roasted a house. Right now, we've got Michael live on the red carpet. Michael, who's coming in? Well, Ty, let me tell you, it's very exciting down here. There won't be any stars in the sky tonight because they're all going to be right here on the red carpet. It's very exciting. Here comes our first limo right now. Let's see who's in it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Paul Rodriguez. I grew up poor. I'm sure we all did. That's where comics come from. Speak uh, for yourself, broke. big boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Obviously, he missed meals. I didn't. Um, but I, uh, uh, as somebody who came from something like this, you can do anything in life that you choose to. It's never about where you're from. It's about where you're going. I just want to say thank you for all the marriages y'all have kept together. Thank Congratulations. You. And Houston will still be hot when you come back, OK? We'll make sure. All right, we're going to put air conditioning in this one. Let's roast! <laughs> I'm hot. I'm telling you, I'm hot. When I got here on the plane, I was rough. You said. <laughs> if there was an earthquake here, it would do about $400 worth of improvements. <laughs> I'm not saying this house is bad, but a homeless guy just walked by and offered us a new box. <laughs> oh! Good thing this house has a sense of humor because we're killing it. I know they'll say there's vermin and rats here, but last night I threw a shoe at a rat and put it on. <laughs> And all the hurricanes that have hit Houston, none of them could have knocked this down. Really, not one. So what do you say, people? You ready to take this thing down? the demolition to see what it once was, just many dangerous possibilities of what could have happened even with the girls. But to know that it's not a worry anymore, it's not a concern anymore, that means the world to us. Talk about bringing down the house! The Johnson family house was sitting right here on this spot. Well, we took that down. Now, we've got a staircase going up to the second floor of an awesome house that's going to be so beautiful, it's not even funny. <laughs> Yo, design team! So let's get a plan on who's doing what. These girls love fashion. So I'm thinking, what are the capitals of fashion? You've got Milan, Italy, London, England, Paris, France. Yep. Michael? Why don't you take Zoe and Jessica's room and okay. sort of do Milan, Italy? Then I'll tell you right, you're going to Nevin. Why don't you take them to London, England? Zoo. That means yeah, you with Paris, France. Yeah. Angela's room, right? Yeah. You know what we're doing? Let's get at it. Here. Mine's All right. right here. Can't wait to see what you come up with. That is the top of that bunk bed behind this board. This week's challenge for me is to give Evan and Reagan a beautiful London fashion bedroom. You can't get more iconic than Big Ben and a London double-decker bus. I want it to be loud, leery, and crazy, just like London. Sir, are these going outside? Actually, although they look like outdoor gates, they're going inside, so behind these gates, it's like, you know, she's looking out onto the Eiffel Tower. All right, you guys get back to the we'll middle. I'll start grinding. Michael, Dad, I've been thinking, brother. Now, I know you're in charge of, you know, all that big upstairs fashion show area, and we're doing the fashion capitals of the world. Right, right, right. I could be of some help. You could help me with fashion? Right. I've actually got that covered. Excuse me. Hey, Brooklyn, come over here. <laughs> Brooklyn, With the girls loving fashion and all the projects going on this week, we could use a little bit of help. So I have a friend, Brooklyn Decker, who's a beautiful supermodel who knows a thing or two about fashion. So Brooklyn is going to help us with all the fashion stuff, and I'm thinking maybe you could take on 
the very special fashion closet. Yes, oh, that'd be my pleasure. I would love that. So I've been in the fashion industry for five years now. I live in New York. So to lend my knowledge to this project is my way of helping. You know, I can't use a nail gun very well, but I sure can show them how to organize a closet. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do in the house. Brooklyn Decker shows up on the job site and all the guys are standing there, their mouths dropped open, but I'm thinking like, oh, a little girl power. I mean, if Brooklyn took care of the fashion part of it, these girls are gonna be set. Got a lot of fashion yes, work to do. Yes. Tie it all in together so we can get that roof lifted on. Elaine told me she wanted to see a Spanish style house. So check this out. We've got a two-story turret right here, which we're wrapping in stucco, putting a red tile roof on that. We've got arch windows. You really can't get any more Spanish than that. Just keep that sander moving. It's looking good. I'm trying to come up with this idea for this space because it's so vast. It's a great big hallway. Well, you know what I can actually, you know what? Grab me that, that board down there. Sure. Paige, would you mind? I have an idea. One of my projects is for Zoe and Jessica, and their room's gonna have that sleek, modern, stylish feel of Milan, Italy. My other project is for all of the girls. It's gonna be a classic fashion runway. It's gonna be the fashion capital of Houston, Texas. So one of the projects I'm working on is the, the office for Eric and Elaine, right? So they're marriage counselors. So what I'm trying to do is custom artwork that goes on the wall that describes what the room is about. So one of the projects I'm working on for the office is sort of an art installation. I'm taking heart-shaped boxes because a heart is the basic symbol of love, and I'm using different colored tissue paper to represent the female side and the male side. Just like in marriage and love, you have to meet in the middle. I want when you walk into that room, you really see the words, make love work. One of the things that Aline and Eric do to help couples bond when they're counseling them is take them ballroom dancing. And they have so much passion for the couples that they counsel. We think it's really important looking after them while they're in Paris. Eric and Elaine are actually not going to be here this week for your session. They're in Paris. Yeah. They've got a pretty good excuse. And I think what would be really cool is to let them know what's going on. Does that sound cool? Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, Eric and Elaine. Hi, Hi Paige. Paige. Hi, Hi Michael. Michael. We know how much you guys do for the community, so we've got a few people here who would like to say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. hi. Look at her. Just want to take this time to thank you so much for helping our relationship. You have made it a lot better. But you guys are truly wonderful. You truly deserve this, and we love you. That's what I'm talking about. We would like to first thank you guys for helping us in our marriage, and this is a well-deserved gift for you guys. We're still together. We love each other some more because of you guys. All I can say, man, is thanks. When we work with the couple, we're just a guy. And for me to be able to share wisdom and to have uncoupled, say, what you share with me, help me, and that touched my heart. So the tears that we shared, yeah, they were happy tears there. <laughs> we're gonna do a little dancing now, in your honor. I can't wait, I wanna go to the class. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> this isn't easy. We might need a little help from you guys when you Just get back. Just a little counseling. Okay. Because let's... he's doing it wrong. Whatever, dear. Step. Step. Bye. Bye. Hey, who'd like to hear a knock knock joke? Yeah. Guess when you're a knock knock joke? Yeah. Okay, knock knock. You glad? Cedric the Entertainer is oh, here! Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah! Everywhere we go, it's about crying and people being, like, very emotional. But I think this week, it's about laughter. No tears, having fun and smiling. And so what better way to do that than bring in somebody really funny and it doesn't get any funnier than Cedric the Entertainer. You feel like working and getting sweaty? Let's do it, man. I'm here for that. <laughs> the family really loves Cedric the Entertainer. And so anywhere he goes, he's definitely making people smile. And that's a good thing. Yo, let's get it going. Let's keep yeah. it fired up. Let me get him a hands clap. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you or someone you know deserves a home makeover, go to ABC.com to apply to be on the show. the shelves going in the closet for the girls. My job is to make these girls' closet, and for five girls, that's a big task. So this closet is bigger than their old room that they all lived in. It's gonna be pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, Cedric, you're in Reagan and Evans' London-themed bedroom, bruv, so what's the bobby? 
Not good, Ed. I'm cream, mate. Me plates are killing me. Your old plates are playing up. Yeah. My plates are good today, bruv. It's more the old mincers. Working on a London-themed bedroom is probably making me sound a little bit more London than I usually would. The good news is no one ever understands a word I'm saying anyway. However, Cedric, the entertainer, he does get what I'm saying. Well, give me a form, so maybe I'll hop on in, Nina, uh, and uh, figure out a way to move, move this cat along. Don't you be telling me no porkies, <laughs> brother, getting me all Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what I just said. Man. That's it. That's it. That's it. so much fun, man. You really have inspired us to keep people laughing this week. And right now, I'm with somebody who's very funny. Hello, Johnson family. It's Cedric the Entertainer. What? <laughs> you know, we get the call, and it's Cedric the Entertainer. And I was like, what? Because Elaine and I had our first date. We saw Cedric the Entertainer, and here it is here to help. And that was phenomenal, man. That was awesome. I got you hooked up. You guys gonna have a romantic night out in Paris. I think we got something for the girls. Yes, we do. You guys are going to one of the biggest modeling agencies in the world! Oh! Me and my sisters, we love fashion. We got to go to the modeling agency. We had so much fun. Hi, girls. I'm LJ. We met the famous model, and she showed us the catwalk. Ready, girls? And then we started modeling in a real fashion show. She told us when we're doing some modeling, we have to show our mean face. That's my mean face. Cedric sent us on the most fabulous date that Eric and I have ever had. And I do mean ever. And I thank you for, you know, all the years that you have worked for me and the girls. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere with anybody else but you. Elaine and I didn't have a honeymoon. The times that we would have to spend together would be few and far between. But that night, it was just us. So to have that time, it was beautiful. Ah, oh, Cedric, bruv, you all right? Man, it's hot. Man, it is so hot. How hot is it? It's so hot, I just saw a chicken lay a fried egg. <laughs> no. Maybe when you do your next stand-up gig, I could open for you. <laughs> I roll. <laughs> so this is gonna look pretty amazing, don't you think? I wanna strut down this runway. Let's move the trombone to The Johnson family figured out a way to smile every day and to find the best in life and to take that energy and spread it out in the community. Now, when they've got a home like this, just imagine what they can do. And they're going to open those doors to people who really want to build their marriages. And I think because of what's happened this week, the entire community is going to benefit because these guys are going to send that love out there. See what it's like centered on this wall. Have you. Cedric, how we doing? Ty, we're doing good, man. Uh, it looks like everything's about to wrap up here. Anything else you need me to do? Actually, we're getting there, man. So I'll tell you what, if you'll go pick up the family, that would be great. You want me to grab the family? Yeah, entertain I'll do that. When you see the show from the outside, it all looks so magical, and it just seems like it just kind of happens. But to be here, to be a part of it, to see the hard work that's going on, to see the love that people are doing it with. I was excited to be a part of that. <laughs> hey, guys, how are you? When we saw Cedric the Entertainer, we just all started screaming like, oh, my goodness, because he was there to greet us, the Johnson family. That was 
such an awesome moment. Are you excited about seeing the house? Yes. 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 Do you want me to take you to see the house? Yes. Not right now. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Coming up. These are people who were touched enough hearing our story and they said, we want to come and we want to be a part to know that Eric and I have impacted so many people's lives. It meant so much. You guys keep families together. As you can see, everybody here really appreciates what you guys do. Well, what do you say? Would you like to see what's behind this bus? We love yeah. bus moved, you see something you've been hoping for, for your children and your wife. You know, you can't prepare for that moment. In the old house, the foundation needed to be fixed, and the roof was swaying and sinking in the middle. This new house is a sanctuary. It was beautiful. As far as the safety of my children, that is a major weight off of my shoulders right now. So guys, please give a big hug to our builders this week, Lee Harris, Linda Stewart, and all the peeps from HHN Hall! This is the most important house I've ever built and been a part of. The Johnson family lived in deplorable conditions, yet their spirit was untainted. There is nothing more important in this life than loving one another. We know how much you guys are into fashion and modeling, right? Yes! Give a big hug to our special guest, supermodel Brooklyn Decker! <laughs> to meet a supermodel, I was just like, Oh my goodness, that's really there. Play cool, play cool. It is my job to control the closet. And all I can say, we made a closet suitable for five girls who love fashion. You guys are gonna love it. It's so moving to come into this project and see all these people working and see all these volunteers out here. It just goes to show how much this family means to the community and how much people want to do good. There are a lot of people out there that want to do good. I've been waiting all week to see this. Johnson family. Go check out your brand new house. Go check it out. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you cried unhappy tears in the old house, and now you can cry happy tears in this house. <laughs> it really feels like the genie has granted our wish. Our old house had holes in the foundation. It was dangerous. The new house means that we have a place that we can really be proud of and know that, that this is home. So Johnson family, what do you guys think of your new house? Man, this is off the chain, man. This is off right? the chain. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Come on, let me show you around. Okay, let's be honest. Your own kitchen 
was old. <laughs> now you guys really have a state-of-the-art working kitchen. And check this out. Oh, we got glass. <laughs> It was awesome, man. I mean, to have actual plates. You guys eat off paper plates so that you don't break your shelves from the weight of the plates. Right. There was just so much detail put into it. OK, so you guys like what you've seen so far? Yeah! And I think what you're about to see next is really going to turn some heads. <gasps> guys, go check out the rest of your house! <laughs> to say. It was amazing. It was like so beautiful. Oh yeah. So you guys have got your own catwalk that literally lights up as you walk. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's amazing. So you guys ready to see your closet? Yeah! Well, go check it out! I'm gonna talk about fabulous. I know. Oh gosh, I'm gonna rock this all day and night. To compare my old closet. This tiny little area is a closet for five girls. Now I have this gigantic, pink, extremely huge closet. We have shoes. We have clothes. Oh goodness. Ah, oh, I love it. So girls, what do you think of the closet? We love it. So Brooklyn Decker did an awesome job, right? Yeah! Thank you, Miss Brooklyn! Oh, thank you! The designers were really inspired by, you know, the fashion capital of the world. So girls, ladies, do me a favor. Go check out your brand new rooms! Oh, my God! If you want to learn how you can help families like the Johnson family, please go to abettercommunity.com and see more of my stand-up. <laughs> I just, I'm just so funny. Go check out your brand new room! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Thank you, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I just love this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. This is like so awesome. Oh. It was so awesome. I know. How awesome was it? Awesome, it was awesome, 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 awesome. The chandelier. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The Eiffel Tower. This is mine. Oh, I love my room. L-O-V-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. It's based on one of the fashion capitals in the world, Paris. I've been to Paris. I touched the Eiffel Tower. Now it's in my room. I'm going to hug you, mannequin. It's beyond what I've ever thought about. This is exactly what I wanted. Ah, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I love the lamps. So weak. Oh my gosh, I really came up. It was like, oh my gosh, are we really seeing this? Is this a dream? They're like, no, this is real. Like, Thank you. Oh I'm god. taking top bunk. I was so excited. I was smiling until my cheeks hurt. Red, red. It has all that fashion and glitz and glam. It was so amazing. Yes, it is. Baby, oh my The plush gosh. carpet, I need to. My shoes are you. coming off. When we open the door to that bedroom, it's a no kid zone. <laughs> no kids allowed beyond this point. <laughs> this is Eric and Elaine's sanctuary. This is our haven. Ooh. You're kidding. <laughs> you are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is your tub, baby. To have a bathroom that is not like the old house. You don't have to worry about no big holes in the tub. That bathtub said Elaine. It's a mother's dream. It's a wife's dream. <laughs> we thought it was really important that you guys have a place in your home 
where you could still work and really make those changes in people's lives. So do me a favor. Go check out the new office of your nonprofit. Go check it out. Oh. <laughs> One heart. Oh. Make love work. I love her. In our old house, we would counsel couples in the living room. I feel like this is the perfect place to work out of. Everything in that room encompasses, you know, love. So this is actually the entrance. Take a look. Oh my, look at <laughs> Having couples in there, they're gonna know when they walk into that room. It takes work, but when you work hard, you get that love. This is what it's about. Your love make it work. I love it. <laughs> you wanna see some more house? Yes, sir. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Start the music! You're ready to go. go, go, go. I pray that this will leave an imprint that will never be erased. This is what we can do when all of us come together and we set our minds to change our communities. I believe that things can be done, magic can happen because magic was made. Presenting the J5! We are so very thankful and grateful for this. Everyone that came out, I love you guys. I thank you so much. Kisses. <sighs> Everywhere. We've said no tears all week long, but we'll make an exception for happy tears. So I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Johnson Woo! family! To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to abc.com. This week, it's all about no tears. It's been a long seven years, and we've seen a lot of tears. And I bet you're wondering where those tears have gone. Well, they've gone right here. Check it out. Come on!